the way that it works, if let's say user A and you, you know, you also had a copy of user A at the destination tenant, we do uh, by default have an automatic mapping algorithm that goes through nine different criteria. If there's a match, then it will try to match the source user with the destination one. In case you have a user A at the source and a user B at the destination. So it's a little bit different. You can do a manual user mapping. If I go under mappings here, you'll have immediately users in groups. Here's because I'm at site collection level. If I navigated, for instance, if I navigate into any site on the destination, the mappings here are a little bit different. I'll have permission levels as well. So I'll just grab my account here. So I search for my account. So this is my user ID, put it there. And on the destination, we can see that my account does not exist. I would actually want them to be assigned global and min. Here, you have the export. If you set up something that you want to reuse, you have the option to import. You would have the same users loaded every single migration that you do.